Hello, good morning. In today's session, we will learn about eddy current. Now, the first question is, what is an eddy current? These are current which gets induced in bulk pieces of conductors. I can say that these are current which gets induced in bulk pieces of conductors. So what are bulk pieces of conductors? I can give an example like core of a transformer. Now when these bulk pieces of conductors are subjected to a changing magnetic field, bulk pieces of conductors are subjected to change, changing magnetic flux or changing magnetic field. A current get induced in these bulk pieces and that current is called as eddy current. But why we call it as eddy current? Because these current or the pattern of these current resembles the swelling eddies in water, you know, something like this, eddies or like this. I will show you a picture for it is in water this you have might have observed when you throw a stone into a pond you know something like this swirling or you can also observe it when for the forward flow of water when the some obstacle comes then there is a reverse current and that only we call it as it is in water so these current which are produced in bulk pieces of conductors resemble it is in water that is why they are called as eddy currents Now, see for example, here we have a metal sheet, okay, uh, we have a metal sheet and we are pulling out this metal sheet from a magnetic field. So, I have shown a cross magnetic field here that is B into paper and we are pulling out this metal sheet or bulk piece of a conductor out of this magnetic field and when it is subjected to changing magnetic field, you know because we are pulling out there is a flux uh, or there is a change in the flux linking the metal sheet and there gets a current induced within this bulk piece and that current is called as eddy current or it is a circulating current as shown here now we'll see more about it like what does it affect what does it do now take an example here ok so we will consider a copper plate so this is a copper plate a copper plate and we take a copper plate and allow this copper plate to swing like a pendulum so this is fixed here and you know allow this copper plate to swing like a simple pendulum between the pole pieces of a magnet this is a strong magnet here s and n allow this copper plate to swing between these or in between this magnetic field now what happens when we do like this when the copper plate goes into the magnetic field the flux linking the plate increases and when it goes out of the magnetic field the flux linking the copper plate reduces so I can say that the magnetic flux associated with the plates keeps on changing so the flux associated with the plate keeps on changing right I'll repeat what are you doing you, you have taken a copper plate and allowed it to swing between the poles of a strong magnet now what happens the flux which links these copper plate or flux associated with the copper plate keeps on changing as it moves into the field and out of the field 
Now we know this change in flux induces eddy current as shown in this figure and according to Lenz's law this eddy current always opposes the very force producing it or direction of eddy current is to oppose the cause which is producing it. So what is the cause producing here? It is due to the swing of the plate right. So the induced EMF will oppose the motion into the region of the poles. So I can say that direction of eddy currents are opposite when the plate swings into the region between the poles and when it sinks out of the region. Now just you know you can recall it from your basic like for example let us see here I will show you a simple picture ok. Ok now see let us say now the copper plate is at position 1 ok or it is going into the magnetic field. Now the plate is going into the magnetic field. The plate is going into the magnetic field. So what it means? When the plate goes into the magnetic field, the flux linking the plate increases. Flux increases. Now the current which is produced here which is called we call it as eddy current must oppose this increase in flux therefore the direction should be in the anti-clockwise direction because we know see now the cross magnetic field is increasing to reduce this the current should produce a dot magnetic field inside this copper plate and we know when the current is in the anti-clockwise direction we get a dot field at the center. So you can apply right hand thumb rule. When you do that you will get here dot that means a magnetic field which is come out of coming out of this plane of paper. Now similarly at this end the copper plate is coming out of the field. So when it moves out of the field what happens to the flux? Flux reduces or flux re decreases. The flux decreases. Therefore the current induced must be, must be in such a direction that it will increase the field. It will try to increase the field because it opposes the cause producing it. So there, therefore it will be a in the clockwise direction because we know in when we have a clockwise current we get a cross field at the center. So inside the copper plate we will be getting a cross field. Now so what we can conclude is the direction of eddy currents are opposite when it goes into the field and when it comes out of the field. So here I have written as the conducting plate enters the field position 1 the eddy current are counterclockwise and as the plate leaves the field the currents are clockwise. In either case the force on the plate is opposite the velocity. I have shown you the direction also and eventually the plate comes to rest because see the eddy current always opposes the cause producing it. What is the cause? producing here it is actually due to the swinging of the copper plate. So this current will try to stop the copper plate or try to avoid its swinging. So gradually you know it has been observed that the plate will come to rest. We can say that in this case the motion is damped. So what is the motion meaning motion of 
is damped like for example if you consider swinging slowly slowly it will reduce 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 at you and finally it will come to halt or it will stop swinging this is what it will happen so due to the eddy current the motion gets damped motion is damped and after a while the plates comes to a halt in the magnetic field or the plate stops swinging now the experiment was tried even with the plate in which we have slots like for example if we take a plate with slots something like this now we are making slots in the copper plate if slots are used or if slots are made then the area which is available for the eddy current is less now here the eddy current will be produced something like this i will enlarge this you know this portion so the eddy current will be produced something like this so previously it was the area was the whole plate now area has reduced so if we use a pendulum or a copper plate where we have holes or slots it reduces damping the damping gets reduced why because the area which is available for the eddy current to flow becomes less so damping gets reduced means the copper plate can swing more freely plate can swing more freely so if you want to reduce the eddy current effect you can take a copper plate with slots now there are some more a uh, few more other things which we can use to reduce the eddy current that i will tell you in the next session so before that uh, we will write one sentence about this eddy current or we will summarize till now whatever we have learned so we can say when bulk pieces of conductors are subjected to change in magnetic field when bulk pieces of conductors are subjected are subjected to changing magnetic flux or changing magnetic field induced currents are produced in them so the flow pattern of this current resemble swirling eddies in water swirling eddies in water and so these currents are called eddy current okay when bulk pieces of conductors are subjected to changing magnetic flux induced current are produced in them the flow pattern of this current resembles swirling eddies in water so these currents are called eddy current or these currents are called eddy currents now we'll see how we can 
reduce these eddy currents and what are the advantages and disadvantages of these currents uh, or is there any application of these eddy currents in same cases it is helpful in same cases it is a disadvantage disadvantages like for example in case of transformer the eddy current as a disadvantage we'll see these things in the coming session